what are some of the ways that your school structures that social interaction, that social setting for making decisions, resolving conflicts, and supporting people to be more of who they are, not putting on airs or or facades? Right. I mean, I think that a school around is kind of the key beginning places in our relationships with one another, and that we really trust all of the people that are in our system to be learning to be who they are so that it, it it sets an environment where that's the focal point of us having really positive relationships with one another and mm-hmm. allowing for us to be able to express who we who we are or trying to discover that and and that that is such a, a it's at the heart of what we do I think that as kids come mm-hmm. to our school, they might have to shed some of the things, the preconceived things of what school is, and it might take them mm-hmm. a while to kind of find their way. But they, I, I just see kids over and over just learning that sense of like, oh, wow, I'm, a, I'm allowed to be that part of myself here. And that part becomes mm. respected. There might be like initial kind of like, well, oh, I don't really know how to be with this person. But after a while, it it's like people just figure out how to accept one another. Part of what we do is starting every day together. Mm. And the kids also, we have a, a school meeting we run. It's a democratic school. So we have a meeting every mm-hmm. week. And in that, time the kids are part of creating the agreements of how we're going to be together in the space if issues come up that are maybe either the staff sees or other students they can bring them to the agenda and we we work together to kind of establish the norms and i think that is really empowering for the kids it's hard work and sometimes they don't really like it because it takes a long time, mm. you know, to come to agreements or they have to maybe sit through things that are uncomfortable and that they might have to own a rule that they broke in, you know, with the mm. community that they might be like, yuck, I don't really like it. So it's a little uncomfortable at times, but ultimately in the end, it they feel that empowerment. And I think this mm. coming back to of like, look, we you know, kindness and being supportive of one another is at the heart of what we do. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world, where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.